Welcome to this MindView video tutorial introducing you to the PowerPoint export. In this tutorial I'll demonstrate how to create both visual presentations and cue cards for revision purposes using the PowerPoint export. The structure and hierarchy of the mind map will directly relate to the PowerPoint slides when we export to PowerPoint. Notice how the sequence of this mind map is ordered to read in a clockwise formation and how it's also numbered those outer branches. Well, when we export this to PowerPoint, Spider-Man will be our first slide, Superpowers and History will be sub to Spider-Man before moving on to Thor, the Hulk and the Black Widow. When choosing the PowerPoint export, select the custom PowerPoint export. In here you'll find a range of different templates to make your presentation look good. Under the general tab, as always, you can customize exactly what elements of the mind map you would like to use to create your PowerPoint slides. In this example, I'm going to bring everything across and include an image of the mind map as my first slide. By exporting this, MindView will now work together with PowerPoint to create a series of presentation slides. And here we have our PowerPoint export. Notice the first slide includes the image of the whole mind map. This could be a great way of just giving an overview of the whole presentation as your first slide, before moving on to an introduction to each of the main slides. As mentioned before, we now work our way around the sequence of the mind map, beginning with Spider-Man, Spider-Man's superpowers and history, before moving on to Thor. By dragging and dropping the text box size, it will automatically resize the text on the PowerPoint slide. So depending on how much text you've included into the text note editor, you may want to edit the size of this text box. Not only is this a great way of creating presentation slides, but a really useful way of creating any type of flashcards or perhaps even revision cards. Why not save these PowerPoint slides as a PDF? That means you'll be able to access all of your revision materials on any device at any time. 